sniper Zambos. Vampire Ness. This, this game's, game's gonna, gonna get real intense. Boo Armor. Boo Armor. So, uh, welcome back to Boo Armor. I, uh, almost killed myself as per usual. Let's check out some yeah. things. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, bitch. A box of kid shoes. <laughs> In a disparity of sizes? Does that mean I can't wear them? Well, no, you can't. What's this? Is this a flower? No, okay. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Yeah. That's sad. Can I be cuter? Mm -mm. No. No, you literally don't change. Them. Oh, I took a nap! Mm hmm. Look, she left you pie. Mom loves me. Oh, yeah. oh, wait. I'm, I'm just gonna tell you a thing right me. now, like spoilers. Don't use the pie until the end of the game. Okay. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> That's nice to know. And okay, should I turn my lights off to save electricity before I leave the room? Not sure they're having Seems any like energy crisis. Okay, let's investigate all of the things. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I didn't yeah. need to do that. That was, uh. What's this room? Ooh. I'm going in it. Oh, is this mom's room? Yeah. I don't want to be nosy. Is this her diary? Yeah. It's mom's diary? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yes. I'm nosy. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> Mom thinks she's funny. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Why are these flowers so low up? Let's... It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You opened it to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed buds. Known more commonly as water sausages. sausages. Yes. Alright, it's your mom's life. <laughs> you peek inside, scandalous. It's Tor Hill's sock drawer. Gonna hurt me? No. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundere of plants. Brilliant. Mm. Brilliant. I enjoy it. What is. I can't do that. What yeah, I this? think that's all you can do in here. <clears throat> it's a mom's trash can. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Mom's weird. That's yeah. Okay. Ooh, there's a sign on this one. What's yeah. it say? Is it for me? Room under renovations. Oh. <clears throat> you want to see a cool thing? I might just, it might just be me that thinks it's cool. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Oh, okay, that was the end. If you go to the mirror, that's a mirror, by the way. Look, there's a reflection. Oh, wait. I'm a cutie. It's a water sausage. <laughs> Okay. Is it gonna tell me what this is? Nope. Nope. Why aren't there drawers I can open? I wanna open drawers. I wanna be nosy. Right? Okay, that's my room. Mm hmm. Alright. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. I clicked the button too soon. That's okay. I read quickly. That's what I do. What's in here? Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2001. I guess we should say 2016, maybe? No, Where's it's just my supposed mommy? to be a general. There she is! The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mm. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and feel fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's a pretty lo he's pretty lousy at names. Hmm. Is mom gonna let me get in the fire? The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Mom! Up already, I see. 
Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Oh, I'm so <laughs> weird. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Whoa. Yeah. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Oh. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Not really. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Oh, nothing. I want to go home. Right? Well, talk to me again if you need anything. Why would I ask my mother that? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of forgot she's not my real mom. <laughs> yeah, in theory, we have a family on the surface. Who needs those bastards? They let me fall in a hole. They weren't watching me. Mm -hmm. I am a child. For some reason, there's a brand named chocolate bar in the fridge. <laughs> Can I take it? Nope. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Mom. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Oh, wait, it's like Halloween. It's, like it's the melding of our two favorite holidays, Andy. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Well, that's it. This has all been very wonderful, Mom. Going to the basement. Here we come, basement! Let me in, let me in, let me in. Am I gonna be spooks down here? Hey, where's my ghost boyfriend? <laughs> He'll pop up. Oh! I think you should play upstairs instead. Uh oh. What's in the basement, Mom? What happens Indeed. if I go back down there? I, the exact same thing is gonna happen. She just comes back for me? Yeah. Okay, you well, what if go I go outside? Can I go talk to her? Well, you can go outside. You won't be able to access this part of the game after this. Oh, hello. Spoilers. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. <laughs> How about it? How to exit the ruins? To get home. I don't want to do that! I know, home is a very boring place. Am I supposed to go home? Yeah, that's kind of the point of the game. Oh. I know. Oh, I'm sad now. I don't want to play this game. Here's an exciting snail fact. Yay! Did you know that snails talk? Really? Slowly? Just kidding, snails don't talk. <laughs> God damn it, mom's got jokes too. Oh yeah. Interesting. Yep. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Oh. Bother you? What if, if I go in here and call her on my cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> Say hello. I got yourself. Dialing. <laughs> this is Toriel. <laughs> you want to know more about me? Well, I am afraid there is not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. Click. I do this way more than I should, where you're like in the next room and you're like, Hey Andy, can you grab me a... <laughs> I know you're ten feet away and I could just yell. Hey, this is useful. Okay, Mom. You gotta do it. I know. I don't wanna. She'll be sad. In all fairness, if I hadn't been pushing the... It's good, Mom. She's I have to awesome. do something. Stay here. Why is she leaving? Did I make her sad? No. Did I make... I made my mother sad. A little bit. Oh, my God. I know. I'm so sad. What have I done? Where's my mother? Where do you think she is? In her room? No. Downstairs? Yeah, she's in the basement. Ooh, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, yeah. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Wait, should we... Should we save? Mm, yeah. And next time on Boob Armor, is that what we should do? No. We're only at, like, five minutes. Yeah, but are we trying to keep it at, like, ten or less? Yeah, we're trying to keep it at around fifteen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Mom's in the basement. Is she gonna try to kill me? Because I want to go home. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. Mom! No one will ever be able to leave again. Oh, this is now little... be a good child and go upstairs. Mom! Yeah. 
Oh god. This is a little step herd for me. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. Oh. Yeah. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they... Asgore? Asgore. Asgore. Oh god, the Italian just keeps coming out. Yeah. We'll kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. What happens if I follow her? Is she gonna get mad at me? Um... I have to follow her, right? Uh-oh. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You see me? Yeah. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no. What's wrong? Toriel blocks the way. Talk? You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Yeah. Mom! Why? Toriel is acting aloof. Do I just keep talking to her? I, I'm i gonna let you try the first time, and then I'll give you hints, because I know how to beat her. <clears throat> Do I have to eat the pie? No. no. We'll keep that till the end of the Talk. game. Talk. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh my god, Mom, why are you hurting me? Why does she? Why is she hurting me? She's trying Toriel to protect takes us. takes a deep breath. Toriel, talk. Jesus, fuck. Am I not supposed to talk? Well, I mean, check won't do anything. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Is there anything you can do to, besides talk? I mean, I could fight her, but that's not helpful, is it? No. Mercy? Flee? Do I flee? I, do I spare? I don't understand. Toriel is acting aloof. I don't know what to do. Uh, Think back to some of the uh, advice you got in the ruins. Admittedly, we skipped over that particular part. I should have had you read that, but... Uh, in our first playthrough. Uh, before you died. Before I died. Um... I'm not supposed to fight her. Nope. Check her. 80, 80. No best for you. Yep. God damn it, mom! Mom! Toriel takes a deep breath. Alright, what do I do? Do I flee? You can try it. I don't think that'll work. All I have is talk. I never know how much to say because I know exactly how to beat her. <laughs> but I don't want to ruin it. Do I just keep talking to her? That's not helping. Mm -mm. It's not doing anything. Am I gonna have to run? You gotta do something. I just have to escape? That is right. Go upstairs. No! Mm. Do I have to? No. What do I do? You have to defeat her. There's no fucking way to defeat her! There is. Already? What will it take for you to learn your lesson? Okay, there was... I'm just gonna... There was a frog. Yeah. In that room with the three frogs? Yeah. And the last one... Said something about using mercy even if... The name is Yelp. Oh! Shit, she's just gonna kill me anyways. Toriel looks through you. I'm gonna die. Just keep sparing. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna die. Maybe. But if your health gets too low, you can flee and go out and heal yourself. And protect myself. Toriel looks through you. I have six health. Can I survive this? Let's keep going. You saved right oh, before God, this. God, 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 I'm dead. I'm so dead. Mm. Now you're alive. I should flee and come back. Probably. Oh, this is so... No! What did I do? Did I hit the wrong button? Yeah, you hit spare again. Okay. A magical attack? Flee. Flee! Flee. <laughs> Alright. That's right. Go upstairs. I'll be back for you. Mom, Wee. you're being fucking unreasonable.
we're going to end the episode here, go heal up, and we will meet you right back here to face off with Toriel again. All right. Next time on Boob Armor. See you later, kittens.